going. So right here, I pretty much just wake up. Um, slow start, start to the day, as per usual, um, as I stutter. Me recording this the next morning, or at least finishing the recording the next morning. Um, please excuse the room. <laughs> Not, not usually dirty. I just, I guess I've been on a rut lately when it comes to cleaning my room and getting it tidy right after I wake up. But for the most part, I'm taking advantage of it today, especially since I'm uh, vlogging. Right, I can't really show you guys a dirty room throughout the whole video. Um, yes, I know I need a shirt on, but I'm really trying to show you guys more practical, realistic, you know, day in the life vlog, or at least a day in the morning vlog of uh, just how I start my day, and uh, just the small little things that I do, so uh, yeah, that's that, did notice while recording this video um, because of my wide my really wide lens that I have is really really exaggerating the hell out of my body structure my entire stature if I'm being honest like let's be honest so I, I look freak, freakishly swole as hell in this goddamn video and it's um not really a good depiction of how I look right now, to be honest with you. A little second person point of view of how my bathroom looks. Um, dirty mirror. Um, which is very common. That's what it seems like for most people, at least. Um, if you guys are wondering why I still have this scarf on my head, um, I need a haircut and I need that done soon. Oh my God, that shit just literally splashed on the damn window. And I just said window when I meant to say mirror. Yeah, I need a haircut. Um, it's been about six, seven days now. And I typically try to cut it every uh, week. So hopefully this is one of those days, but we'll see. I tried to clean the mirror here and I completely failed as I smacked the life out of my toothbrush. So, you know, I had to leave after that. I usually start my morning off with a run and a good little workout, usually two miles. Um, but this week I've chosen to take a break, um, especially since I've been on for about a month and haven't taken any breaks after consistently doing it five days a week. Not to brag, just saying um, I really needed the break, the break honestly, um, especially since my body was feeling a lot sore. Uh, throughout that last week or so of working out and um, I just chose to take this week off so even though this is a more practical morning in my life the one thing that is missing is the morning jog morning run um, before all of this so just imagine me working out right before all of this and then come to where we're at now in present time making coffee starting my breakfast and yada 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 um, I doubt anybody I know closely will end up seeing this but just for those who do quite honestly you might be wondering why 
You might be wondering why I am at home in my mom and sister's house. Not mom and sister's, but mom's house with my sister, obviously. Um, instead of the apartment I just got. And, uh, it is a really uh, complicated uh, topic or thing to speak on. Um, but it's definitely a long story. And if you guys would like... Uh, just me, for me to talk about that, um, go more into that situation and everything, you know, while I'm at home right in my apartment um, in Atlanta, Georgia, you know, just, I don't know, shoot me a message or something, let me know, and I'll definitely go into that in another video, but just not this one, I kind of just wanted to show everybody, you know, what my daily morning is on a typical day, a typical work day. Yeah. And as you can see, it's like every single part of my body is this. Like, might as well talk about it, right? But every single part of my body is fucking jagged, except for my chest. So, this is just one of the main reasons why I'm choosing to implement uh, some weightlifting, body resistant workouts. And for this upcoming week, once I resume my workouts. Um, but yeah, it's not something I hate, it's just. I don't particularly like unproportional parts of my body in comparison to the rest of it, which obviously might be a lot of people, so yeah, but here I am, uh, coming upstairs to my desk and started with the day for the most part, which is, which is typically how, or what most of my day consumes of, um, on an off day and with what some of my day consumes on on a work day. Um, usually on my computer for most of the time I'm at home because I really don't have too much uh, freedom outside of work. Um, I don't know, like the other um, conversation I had to you guys about why I'm staying at home and not living in my apartment, you know, the same conversation, the same topic is um, it's really, it's, it's really, it's really complicated, honestly, um, not as much, but definitely, there is a long story to why I just don't have much freedom outside of work, and, uh, it's been like that for me for quite a long time, in my opinion, but it's something I definitely look back on one day and just, you know, not even really, uh, I don't know, not even really look back on it to be angry or nothing, just see it was a phase of my life that I had to go through, but I'm in a very calm state when I'm in, at my desk, so that's also good. I do a lot of research, um, do a lot of personal projects, um, personal uh, not necessarily always thorough, but it's just, it just, it's just my way of, I guess, finding myself and, uh, figuring out life and life for me, um, you know, without football and everything, um, that's another story, most people who know me, you know how that goes, or at least the closest ones, but, yeah, that's that, um, I should, should have really, Instead of taking off that scarf around this time, it makes my head look worse than it actually is. I promise you it does. But yeah, um, the reason you guys see my Xbox over there, I know I, I know, um, told a lot of people recently over the past like year or so I don't play the game anymore. I'm actually starting to get back onto the game now. 
shit is kind of getting fun and shit. Not even gonna lie. Um, fun again. Shit, uh, life gets boring when you're not really able to go out as much as everyone else. And that's something I'm, something I'm okay with, definitely. But, you know, I just been getting back on the game recently every now and then whenever I have free time. And, you know, it's chill. It's straight. Not much to it. quite enjoy my life if I'm being honest though. I'm not ever depressed, I'm not overly stressed, you know. I'm just me doing me. To, with the company of myself, quite honestly. And that's really what I that's all I need. Um it doesn't really take much for me to be who I am or do what I want. My means to live is not high whatsoever. Right here, I'm not too sure if I remember correctly. Actually, I do. Um, I was just on the computer right here, and I was uh, setting up um, and coming up with a plan, a strategy, just the whole framework behind uh, me um, taking YouTube more seriously, I guess, uh, or at least making it more professional um, so I can just at least come up with uh, optimal ideas of how I can speed up the process of making videos. So basically I was coming up with presets, um, um, templates and everything to where all I got to do is either produce and paste or copy and paste um, what I need in order to make a video. Um, and that's pretty much what I was doing this part of my life I am preparing myself for a change and I want to be able to do YouTube all around um, not only for myself and just to do something that I always felt like I could do but just in all build a portfolio as well a lot of people don't know it or don't know my goals in life but I really do want to create a portfolio for myself for getting the job I want later in life um, just mainly for my career but mainly to establish some sort of um, evidence of my work ethic um, and just my capabilities and my competencies when it comes to my career field and so that's pretty much what I'm working on. And that's pretty much what I uh, use YouTube as. It's, it's a purpose for YouTube, for me at least. Um, but yeah, I don't really call myself a YouTuber, but I definitely have been on YouTube making videos for quite a while now. Definitely, definitely a year. I've done a lot of posting and deleting. I've done a lot of producing content and then not even uploading it just happened because I felt like it wasn't good enough and part of that was true and part of that was just me not feeling like it was good enough um, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist because I know it's a lot of times I'm lazy when it comes to stuff but well, I wouldn't say a lot of times but there are times where I am lazy with stuff but for the most part I really just am not satisfied with anything and not the type of person to upload something that's half-assed or put something out there that's half-assed, you know? So me being me, starting off on YouTube has been quite slow, but, you know, sometimes with certain things you have, well, there's really no explanation for that, but you know, I'm gonna get there. I already know it. It really isn't no rush because at the end of the day, I'm doing this for me. And that's just what it is, honestly. Yeah, 
my honestly my mornings are definitely uh boring not to me obviously it's a lot of times where i go into a deep study or deep uh flow of work but i know for anybody else if they had to be in my position yeah definitely it definitely leads to be sitting there and being like oh my god you know it's so fucking bored and for me it's just i'm just staying busy like i have no problem with that i don't i'm not uh someone that's on social media anymore i definitely do not have social media or use it anymore um if you see i if you even got on my phone and went to my settings i probably only have like no more than 10 hours maybe eight hours of screen time on my cell phone i just i just don't really be on it uh i don't know why i'm like that it's just it is what it is um i'm not really interested in those things at the moment i say because i know definitely uh when talking to the friends and everything you know when they send me pictures of posts they have posted on points of social media uh there are periods of time it's just like you know i wonder i'm sitting there thinking like damn this shit looks completely different from uh when the last time i've been on social media yeah i uh know what it looks like every now and then because i would click on the links and then look at their posts because you know you're not always able to look at it straight from messages or whatever but yeah basically basically i do get that uh small little tempting urge to want to download it but even that is you know not enough for me to want to download it it's just i really don't have no i'm not fond of getting on social media anymore but i know a day will come to where i gotta get it back on when i gotta start posting again because i know i'm gonna want to and i know with what i'm trying to do in life is gonna require that you know i'm okay with that but you know i feel like no i just be chilling social media is really boring for me right now and it's i feel like social media is definitely a different world uh when it comes to being in the mix and out of the mix especially uh a lot of people expect you to be on social media and if you're not it's just like what the hell are you doing and uh, for me it's just more of I had to get away from seeing what everybody was doing because it seemed like it's not even what it seems like it's obvious enough that on social media you're just going to be put into different groups of uh, audiences or interests uh, than other people and then there are some mixes where you are you know in the same interests or in the same groups and you're seeing pretty much the exact same thing as everyone else and it's just it's a, it's a world of data if I'm being honest if that's honestly the best way to put it for me because if I say what I want to say I'll be sound, I'll sound like I'm contradicting myself and it's not really what I'm doing I just feel like I have a better understanding I have a working understanding of it today um because a lot of my career field has to do with data analytics computer science and just with knowing more you start to understand the um the structure of how social media is um you know formed and put out there for the general public and like i said it's a working knowledge of it and it does sound like i'm not making sense but for the most part it's better safe for me to not be on it than to be on it. Um, so yeah, let's just keep it at that. <laughs> Cause I really don't want to sound stupid in this video, but here's me about to cut my hair. Um, as you can see, the mirror is still fucking fucked up. Um, I'm probably gonna bleep this, like all these curse words out because I don't even know if I want that in the video, but that's just how I talk, like, straight up, so, you know, I can't really hide that with that smooth-ass flick, I didn't even know I did that, oof, but no, I'm finna, um, give me a little haircut in, um, as you remember me saying, I needed one, so I chose, you know, right before I gotta leave, it's the best time to do it, so I just got up and cranked that out.
if then that phone call came, because I think if I ain't see that shit, I wouldn't have, uh, Also, the camera goes off to right about now, so I guess this is where I close out the video. Um, it just died, so that's just the way it was. Um, also, I'm, I watch Twitch a lot. Um, I'm very into competitive gamers, esports, um, content creators, and streamers on different platforms, but mostly YouTube and Twitch. Uh, or Twitch and YouTube. I mean, Twitch first. But yeah. videos that I make, um, I do plan to upload to day in the life videos or just vlogs of me video type videos a week, um, definitely coming up in the future, let's hope at least, um, but I'm a manifester, so, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna get to it, I don't even gotta manifest if I'm being honest, but yeah, let's go ahead and close out the video right there. See y'all in the 